yeah so welcome back guys uh, this is madhav pvl and uh, today we are going to see uh, the bet first search in artificial intelligence as most of us know what is meant by bet bet first search but now in this video i'm going to explain you in the case of this uh, fifo queue in the case of first in first output uh, way and also i'm going to discuss about the maze application in this artificial intelligence by using this uh, breadth first search yeah now uh, let us just get into the topic as uh, we can just see here so this is a simple uh, tree like structure we can just see this is like a simple tree structure but uh, according to this uh, artificial int intelligence we need to just consider this uh, like a type of a queue so what is queue we know like uh, one two three four things which come in order can be called as a queue so this whole graph uh, need to be considered like a queue but uh, how can we do that uh, we will just get some uh, confusion like so let me just do one thing i will just consider this as level 1 and this is a level 2 this is level 3 this has level 4 this has level 5 so if i just consider this uh, like the we are having five levels then we can just try to uh, build some queue right so what is meant by queue queue is something like a representation of elements in a proper way so now uh, if we just see level 1 what what we are having in the case of level 1 so we can just consider the there is only one single element right so we can consider this as our queue for a uh, level 1 and then if we try to just cancel this if we just try to cancel s then we can just uh, form another queue that is if we just see here if we just cancel this uh, s then we can see what are the interconnections for that s so what are connected with the s so a is connected with this and b is also connected with this so now we can just write it here for level 2 we can just write a and then b so if we just cancel this a we had just cancelled s and now we are cancelling a so after cancelling a we need to just join the b along with the elements which were attached to a so you can just see here right so after cancelling a we need to just add these two elements because these are attached to a to uh, next to b so now we are just going to write like this b c d after cancelling a so after cancelling a we need to write like this so after cancelling b in level 3 so if we just cancel this then we need to just involve these two elements then we need to just involve these two elements now i will just add g and h to d so after d we are just going see uh, we can just see here so s from s the interconnections are a and b so we are getting a and b Uh, after cancelling a the interconnections are c and d so b c d so after cancelling b the interconnections are g and h so c d g h now i am going to write that thing c d g h so after cancelling c so now i will just cancel the c here and here also so after cancelling c we will just write the elements which were attached to it there e and f so i will just write like this d g h e f and then now we are going to cancel d so after cancelling d there are no elements which were attached to d right so we'll just uh, remain like that and uh, now we will write the same here g h e f so if we just cancel g so after cancelling g here we can just see the g is attached with i so now we will just add i towards the right side of that uh, before one so we will do like this h e f and i so now if we just try to cancel h so now we are cancelling h but h is not having any interconnection right now uh, we will just write it same below e f i 
so if we are now uh, writing like this so after doing this if we just cancel the e so after cancelling e we will get k so we will write here like that so e f i k so now after writing this k now uh, we we need to cancel um e sorry i uh, oh, okay fine after cancelling h we don't have anything we had written e f i so uh, i forgot to cancel e e so it creates a confusion so be careful guys so e f i k so now i had added an, an extra e here so uh, it's my bad so now if we just see here f i k now uh, we are going to cancel f here so if we cancel f here f is not uh, having any interconnection and next we are going to cancel i so we will just write after cancelling f as t i and then k so now we are going to cancel i so after cancelling i even i uh, as not 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 having any interconnection now uh, we will directly write the k so this is the last element so in this way first in first out uh, q will be created with the help of this graph so i think this made some sense now now we will just get into the notes which i had written uh, after watching that implementation i think this will be a bit easier so now we are going to create a variable which is called as a node list so node list i had just created for every level by level we had just created it from level to level right so until gold state is found so gold state is nothing but as we are searching for some element then if we just uh, found that element then uh, we need to just remove the first element and name it as e and if node list was empty then quit so uh, removing the first element in the sense uh, the removing the elements like this so removing the first element and adding the elements which were interconnected to it interconnected to it towards the last side now uh, if the whole node list is empty like if we just even remove the k here if we remove the k here we can just print a message like uh search it all elements but unable to find your wrist so we can just uh, pass a command like this uh, if uh, if the above case is not working then we can do like this so continue the above loop until you find the gold state in e if new state is a gold state quit and return this state if you find the if you try to find the element c then if you find if you found that then you can just say like found element otherwise add other node list at the end so other node list node list is nothing but things which were interconnected to that particular uh, cancelled one so we can just do like this so this is an implementation so in this way the algorithm works for searching an uh, element so time complexity so it is obtained by number of nodes transversed in with first search until the last node so here we can just see uh here for every level the number of nodes may differ right so here it is only one node here it is having two nodes here it is having four nodes and here it is having again three and here it is having one so we can just say like the number of nodes we can just consider it like uh, um b and uh, we can just consider this levels as d so we can just say like uh, level to level we can just consider this uh, time complexity like uh, b b square b cube until b to the power of the depth so we can just say like the time complexity as big o of b to the power of d that is branching factor to the power of depth of the shallowest element so space complexity even the space complexity also works like same every node generated remains in the memory number of branches also matter so space complexity is also big o of b of d so completeness it is a complete shallowest gold node will also be found in breadth first search like even if we try to find the last element it is possible in the breadth first search so optimality it is optimal it is optimal if the path cost is a non decreasing function of the depth uh, it doesn't matter so we can just see here so this is all about breadth first search yeah uh, basically breadth first search is easier in uh, data structures but if we need to learn more about a concept uh, then we need to just do in the subject of this artificial intelligence so we can just learn in this way now uh, i am just going to discuss about the maze problem 
So here we can just see, so this is a maze. So if we just see here, uh, one second. So here if we just see here, now uh, here it is clearly mentioned this is the entrance and it is mentioned like this is the exit. So now uh, we need to just consider this nodes as the nodes we had just considered in this paint. So we had just considered some uh, nodes like this in paint right yeah so these circles. Now we need to just consider even these elements as those circles. So I will just draw those things. So this is an element node. So this is a node. This is a node. This is a node. This is a node. This is also a node. This is a node. This is a node. Yeah. So these are all the nodes which were belonging to this particular maze. So now uh, the person or the P, the element which is at the entrance need to reach this exit. So for this reason we are just using this uh, breadth first search. So we can just say like this is a node list. So this is an initial node list like uh, th this, this initial element can be uh, considered as a node list and this is a gold state. So I is a gold, gold state and this is a node list. So now uh, if we just try to give some connections we can just give like this. So S is having a connection with A. So this is a bi-directional connection. So we can just consider this gates, right? So this is having a gate here. And now even this is also having a gate here. Even this also having a gate here. No, no not more than one gate should be there in between two elements. Uh, don't get messed up. So here we can just see. Even we can just give connection from S to C. But S to C is having two connections. So the optimal solution is, uh, is to travel from B to C. So traveling from B to C is the optimal solution than traveling from S uh, to C because it need to pass two gates. So now from C we can just give to J. And then from B we can just give to D. And then from E we can give to G. From E, we can go to F. And then from D, we can go to G. From D, we can go to J. As these are only having only one gate. So here the gap may, uh, here the gap uh, is the one of the major thing we need to just uh, consider. This creates a lot of confusion. So if you just repeat only this maze application in my video if you just see this another time i think uh, this may just clear up your doubts and then traveling from f to h only one gate and then traveling from g to h only one gate and then traveling from h to i only one gate and by traveling from j to i only one gate and from i you can just reach the exit only one gate so in this way you can just uh, travel from element to element. So uh, we can just use this breadth first al algorithm to just start from this node list and to find out the gold state. So in this way we can just do that. So this is a basic code for uh, breadth first search algorithm. So this is the thing which we had just drawn up. I think this makes up some sense. Uh, thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to Works of the College. Thank you.